I don't think I'm ever going to hear the word amen the same again. I was listening to some preaching this morning. And when the preacher would say something, he'd say amen. And the audience would do man. And as I'm listening to them saying amen over and over again, I tell you, it sounds like sheep. Man, 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 man. I'm like, that, that, that's kind of what sheep sound like. Man, man. We used to have these goats that live, this peop, these people that live next door to us had goats. And sheep and goats, they sound a lot alike and look a lot alike. And, um, and you'd hear them all the time. Man, man. And that's exactly what these people sounded like. Hey, man. I'm like, Maybe that's why Jesus calls us sheep, right? All right, so listen, uh, Matthew chapter 19. The Pharisees, they approach Jesus and they're trying to test him. And they're asking him if it's lawful to divorce your wife for any reason at all. And Jesus says in verse four, have you not read, this is Matthew 19, four, have you not read that he who created them from the beginning made them male and female and said, therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let not man separate. They said to him, why then did Moses command one to give a certificate of divorce and to send her away? Jesus says to them, because of your hard heartedness, Moses allowed you to divorce your wives. But from the beginning, it was not so. And I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, except for, now here's the grounds, pornia in Greek, pornia. Maybe your Bible says sexual immorality or fornication, right? Fornicate, pornicate. That's where we get the English word porn from pornia. That's where we get the English word fornicate. It's more like pornicate, right? So Jesus says, except for these grounds, pornia. And he says, and then marries another. So let me read it again, just so it doesn't sound confusing. He says, and I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, except for the grounds of pornia, and marries another, commits adultery. Now, when he says marries another, he uses the Greek word gamase. It's spelled G-A-M-E-S, like, like, like our English word games, but they have an E at the end. Gamase. And it comes from the root word in Greek, which is gameo. Gamase means marries. Gameo is marriage, right? So gameo. Gameo is spelled G A M E with an O at the end. It's where we get the English word game. Gamase is where we get the English word games. Now it's interesting how. When you and I think of games, we think of something different than what the Greeks would think. They're thinking marriage, right? Now, so here's the interesting thing about the entomology of this word, when you look it up in English anyway, the word game or games. There's, a, there's one understanding that it comes from an old English word, and it's gamen, gamen, G-A-M-E, N, I think, or E-N-N, gamen. It, it might even be G-A-M-M, -M, I'm not sure, but, but gamen is how it was pronounced. I remember reading that. And then in German, a lot of English comes from German as well. Did you know that? English is a very Germanic language. In German, they say gaman for games. Gaman. And it it's spelled G-A-M-A-N-N. -N. Gaman. The word gaman is composed of two words. So now when we do the entomology of gaman, you got the word ga and man, M-A-N-N. -N. Ga, G-A, means together. It's bringing together. Man in German is like our word for man, not male. Man as in mankind or people, right? So when you get ga and man together, it means people coming together 
or or together people, right? And that's what people do when they play a game. They come together, play games. But that's what people do also when they have marriage. They come together, right? And for some people, marriage is a game. There's a lot of people that play games and enjoy playing games behind their spouse's back. But what is the result of playing games behind your spouse's back? What's the consequences? What's the fruit of it? We'll, we'll talk a little bit about that. But it's interesting, like I said, that the Greeks, they have the word gameo or gamase that we call for game or games. And they see it as marriage. Marriage. People joining together. Right? That's where I always get that number 11, you know, where the two become one. When your spirit and the spirit of the Lord are joined together, you become one. 11 looks like two numbers. But when you bring them together, they're no longer separated from each other. And they reflect each other. And they're equally and evenly yoked. And they become one. That's your spirit and the spirit of the Lord. It's a great, it's a great visual that the Lord gives me quite often. All, but actually all day, every day. Like my clock on my, my car says 128 right now. What's one plus two plus eight? Well, eight plus two is 10 plus another one. You don't believe me, do you? I'll just show you that right there. 128. So one plus two plus eight. I hope you saw that. Equals 11. So I see it in different ways all day, every day. I don't look for it. In fact, I just talked to you and I just glanced at my clock because... I was about to say, every time I glance at my clock, you know, not every time, but many times throughout the day, I glance at my clock and I see that number 11. And it's God's reminder to me. It's like his way of saying, hey, buddy, I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. Our spirits are joined as one. So remember who you are. Remember, it's identity. Your identity is very important. You're joined to my spirit as one spirit. That's who you are. So now I can discover what I've been given from him. And then I'm trying to learn how to use it well. So let's go over these words. Por, pornia, and gameo. Now you might think, oh, the title of this message, that's clickbait. Games and porn, that's, that's clickbait. He's trying to use clickbait. Well, sorry to say they're actually biblical words. I'm not saying they're edifying biblical words. Well, not porn anyway, pornea. But they're from the Bible. And this is not clickbait, right? What is clickbait? Clickbait is usually where they try to catch your attention with like a certain thumbnail picture on their YouTube video, let's say. And, and um, they try to get you to click on and when you do, it might, the, what, what they're using as a picture might have nothing to do with the video at all, right? It's a way of tricking you, but this, this, this word actually has a lot to do with the video. So we know in marriage, there's a lot of people that are addicted to pornography. You hear of marital problems all the time, don't you? Because one person might be addicted to porn and it's affecting the marriage. You know, there's some people that actually try to convince themselves that, that, that indulging in porn actually benefits the marriage more. It's enhancing the marriage. But when you think that way, now you're thinking carnally, and when you're thinking carnally and putting carnality into your marriage, well then, what's gonna be the result of your marriage? Carnality. Carnality isn't spirituality, it's opposite. It's all fleshy stuff. So the fruit of the marriage now will become what flesh brings you. The fruit of the flesh. Right? So that's what pornea. And, and, and even watching pornography many times leads to having an affair on your spouse. Right? Having an affair. So, so many times that's the result. But what if we both watch porn together and we enjoy it together? It enhances our marriage. Well then once again, you're feeding on something carnal together. You're putting it in, right? You're planting a seed into your marriage, carnal stuff. So the fruit of your marriage is going to be carnality. And so many marriages end because of this, right? You want to feed your marriage the things of the spirit, don't you? So 
mini marriages end because of that. And and some some people they think it's it's a game. I'm just I'm just playing a game, you know. It's behind my my wife's back, for instance, right? If a man's doing it behind his wife's back, might have to be all sneaky and lie to her. What what are you doing? Oh, I'm gonna go do some work on my computer, honey. And he closes the door. Don't interrupt me. I'm gonna be really busy. And, and he's doing he's watching porn. Or we can even now let's go over the word gameo which they take as marriage, the Greeks do, but we say game or games, right? So, have you ever heard the word gamble or gambling? And it, do you know it comes from the word game? Gamble, gamble. What is gambling? You know, you're, you're, you're taking a risk, usually with your money. So you're playing a game with your money. Now there are couples that might go play this game together or gamble together. Hey babe, let's go to the casino and and that's and they do that. But then there's also certain cases where there's couples that tell one person tells their spouse, "Oh hey babe, I'm going to work. I got this stuff to do. You know, I'll see you later." And then they're out at the casino spending their money. And even if the uh couple sign some kind of a prenuptial before they got married they say well my money's my money and your money's your money we keep it separate you know when you're gambling all your your money away and if you're losing it and you don't think that affects your spouse well you need to think again because it does because you two are still one right or did you sign a prenup on your unity as one in a marriage as well? Hey, listen, let's sign this thing that says we're not one. Then why did you even get married in the first place, right? So I'm going to tell you an example of what happened at work uh, a few days ago. I'm talking to a woman at my work, I'm a hairstylist, so you know I get in a lot of conversations with people. And this woman's 54 years old. And you know what? She didn't seem her usual self. Her composure had 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 changed. Her countenance was different. She looked some like something was weighing her down bothering her and so I just asked her hey you okay and she says no no I'm not okay and like do you want to talk about it she says just problems at home with my husband and I and she looked really upset I'm like oh no did he have an affair she says worse so I'm thinking, what is worse than having an affair? She says, I've been saving money since I was young, storing cash away, saving and saving and saving because I'm 54 now and I wanna own my own business. She says her husband tells her he's going to work but he actually hasn't been going to work he's been going to the casino and because he gambled all his money away and lost it he took her entire savings which was a hundred thousand dollars cash and he went into her stash took it, brought it to the casino, probably thinking he's going to go double it and lost it all. And she is so upset that she even says, I'm filing divorce. And man, she, she was just really, I mean, you could tell this is something bad. And I'm, I'm just like, wow, I'm I, me. I'm, I'm kind of blown away. Like, Wow, I can't believe that guy did that. That's that's crazy. But you know, I, I also remember years ago, there was a, a woman when I was younger, I was in my early 20s and I was cutting this woman's hair. And it just so happened this woman 
not only had won this thing called the Publishers Clearing House Sweepstakes, she won a whole bunch of money. She was the winner of Publishers Clearing House. But then, shortly afterward, she wins the lottery. So she came into a whole bunch of money. She has a husband. She has kids. Well, they bought a house. Used some of the money to buy a house. But one day, she goes to the casino and she tells me, she says, I have a gambling problem. And she says she went to the casino and lost all the money and got so desperate that she gambled her house away. Betting against her house and lost the house. And had to go home and tell her husband and kids that she lost it all. And so her husband, she says, filed divorce. And she says that she doesn't even blame him. So that happened. And um, I thought, oh, wow. That is <laughs> to go from winning millions to... Uh, Losing it all. You know, the major problem is that there was no coming together and talking about it. Right? Gameo, the real meaning of game or gameo. Coming together. And when you're married... You know, if you're playing a game with your marriage in an inappropriate way, you're going to not come together to that other one that you love, that you're joined together with, that you're supposed to be one about. You're going to go do stuff behind their back. And then it becomes maybe even a game or a sport to you. But then you go do something destructive like that woman did, like that man did by taking his wife's $100,000 behind her back and losing it at a casino, something that she had been saving before they ever met. She said, I started saving this years before we even met. And it's took her that many years, taken her that many years to save up $100,000. And with one swipe of the hand, this guy takes it all and loses it. <laughs> right? Games and porn, you guys, <laughs> can be very destructive, right? I hope this message has been a blessing to you. This is a, a little series I'm doing called Origin of Words. Origin of Words. So don't get mad at me because I put the word porn in there, but it's in the Bible, right? And it's something that people are dealing with. It is a serious thing, you guys. It really is. There's people that are crying out for help and not finding any help because they're addicted to pornography. And you can say, well, that's their fault. They're the ones that started it. You know, you got to have a little more compassion because you might have some sort of addiction too. It might not be porn, but it might be something else. Right? So remember, when you're looking at the speck in somebody's eye, don't forget to find the log in your own. So if you have any of these problems... If you're battling any of these things and you're having a hard time talking to anybody about it, pornography, gambling, you know, lying, doing stuff behind your spouse's back or even finding forgiveness for yourself because you're just, you're beating yourself up because of these things. I just want to lift you up all today to the Lord and say, Lord Jesus, thank you for everybody that is hearing my voice right now. Thank you, Lord, for everyone that is coming to you in prayer, seeking help. I just thank you for them, Lord. And if I could, I would lay my hand on the top of each and every one of their heads right now. So since I physically can't, I spiritually can. So in spirit, Lord, I place my hand on their head and say from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet, be free, be whole, be healed. Be forgiven because you are. So just receive it 
receive it. Do you understand? You are already forgiven, so receive it. By his stripes you are healed, so receive it. And you are freed. Do you know that's salvation, you guys? Escaping from d danger into freedom, into safety. So be freed. You are freed, so receive it now. And I speak in the authority and in the power of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Grace, grace to you all. God bless you all. And I will see you all in the next video.